Hey everybody, Jem Skillfield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at this sucker, the Aperture Fresnel 2X. So let's get started. So either I shot this and last week's episode on the same day, or I really like this hoodie and I'll let you guys decide. Okay, so we're talking briefly about this new Fresnel that came out from Aperture. This is the original one that I have had for a long time called the Fresnel mount. Um, very lightweight, very inexpensive. Uh, one element here for the Fresnel lens, there it is, and a little knob over here which you basically just unscrew and then you change the beam angle from between 12 degrees and 42 degrees. Um, nice little unit, definitely got the 120D, 120D2, and the 300D further away, uh, making it a harder light source, which I like, because the chip on boards just spread a lot when you turn them on. Uh, in fact, if I just turn on the 120D2 here, you can see that there is a tremendous, I'm just looking at the monitor for reference, a tremendous amount of spread there. And, um, and there you go. But here's the deal. When you use the original Fresnel mount, and I've just popped that on here, and you can see that we can obviously, whoa, hey now, uh, get a nice spot, and we can flood that out. Um, there's a lot of output on this sucker but there's a lot of light leaking as well from the actual Fresnel unit. And so that's a little bit of a problem. I used to find that I was taking black wrap and you know, kind of flagging off that stray light and when it hit different places, especially when you're in smaller spaces. So they've solved that problem. Let me just go ahead and strike that for a second with this new unit. Um, but there's other stuff to talk about here. So. The unit is slightly larger in terms of physical size. Uh, actually, just so we can get a little bit more light here. Let me actually pan that and not make it squeak this time. So, let me see. Yep, you guys can see that. So we've got that Fresnel element on the front here now, but there is a honking big other piece of optics inside of here. So this is effectively um, a two lens system and what that's doing is it's allowing for greater output. So we are also going to flood and spot differently with this. Um, we basically just rotate the unit itself like that and then we flood and spot from 12 to 42, well not 42, to 40 degrees. So just ever so slightly different in terms of that. Uh, I doubt you would notice the difference in those two degrees. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this onto the 120D2 and pop it on and you can see there it is. And that is the unit spotted. And then you just again rotate it for the flooded position. And I find um, with all the tests that I've done so far that we're not having any issues even when you are tilting this that this is moving at all because of the way it's designed when you're rotating it, it just holds its position. And in terms of pure output, um, I'll link to Eric Naso's findings on New Shooter, but the reality is that it may not be quite 2X, but it's pretty darn close. And of course, when you're using lights like this, when you're looking at that extra output because of those lensing, uh, or those lenses, the lensing or those lenses, it really has so much to do with the spotted version when we're trying to get that light further away. So um, I think a really admirable upgrade to the original Fresnel, the Fresnel 2X. I first saw it at NAB last year in 2018. I was excited about it then. I'm even more excited to have it in the kit now. But I also saw something else last year, which I'm hoping this year at NAB we see in a more final form. We'll have to see. I'm a big Leco fan. 
And uh, if I can take this 120D2 and I can put a Lico on there, I am very happy if I can do that with a 300D as well. Yes, very good stuff. So there you have it. That is the Aperture for now 2X. Comes in a nice nifty case to keep it protected. Uh, well thought out, has a little handle too. I dig it. I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.